on. This is Cornerstone Faith Assembly Church. A city where grace and love abide. We welcome you to our midday service. And whatever time it is where you are watching us from. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we purpose to rejoice and to be glad in it. Viewers, wherever you are watching us, we kindly ask you to start a watch party on our behalf. Even as we invite you into this worship service. We also ask you to invite many people, your friends, your family, that we can become a blessing to them. You can also like our page and you can also follow us. We also encourage messages and prayer requests for there is a pastor with a, with a phone waiting to hear from you. We also have our YouTube channel and it has very beautiful administrations there. So we kindly ask you to subscribe if you have not. You can also encourage your friends and your family members. Somebody who needs to be ministered to that they can visit our channel and they will be blessed. And behind me is the present worship team. I want to give them the opportunity so that they can lead us into the presence of the living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, we have come to declare that there is no one like you, Jesus. And you are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all honor and adoration, oh God. Take all the praise, dear Father, in this place, oh God. We have come to say that there is no one like you, Jesus. We enter into your courts with praise. We enter into your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts, oh God. As we say that you are worthy. Go 
honor you, O great God. Indeed, as we have confessed in the song today, you are a God who is undefeatable. Nothing is too hard for you, O God. And therefore, this day we thank you. Amen, amen. You can have your seats, the band, and thank you so much for reminding us that our God is undefeatable. Amen. My name is Ben Okoth, and as always, it's a great honor. And I thank God for this opportunity he has given us through Bishop Kamau. Who is our senior pastor here at Cornerstone Faith Assembly? To share with us the word of the living God today. I'm going to just build on what our sister Margaret, Minister Margaret Wambugu, dealt with yesterday. And the topic is. Just ask the Lord that question. Just Ama, ask the Lord that question. We learned yesterday through Minister Margaret about the password. Kuhusu, uh, neno lile la siri. And today, Na leo, we are just going to see how we can get answers to our life's questions by asking the Lord. We were once taught by our pastor Bishop Kamau that you are just a revelation away. There are problems or challenges that we go through that the only solution that we need to them is to get the secret, to get the password so, so that we can access the solution and have our problems or challenges solved. And our God is an omniscient God. He is an all-knowing God. There is nothing that God does not know. He has uh, the passwords to all secret places that have, locked, that, that have been locked up. And therefore, allow me to read the book of 2 Samuel chapter 21 from verse 1. And this is what the Bible says. But now there was a famine in the days of David for three years. Basi kulikuwa na kiangazi wakati wa ufalme wa Daudi miaka mitatu. Year after year, mwaka baada ya mwaka. And David inquired of the Lord. Na Daudi akaenda kutafuta neno lile kwa Bwana. And the Lord answered him. Naye Bwana kamjibu and said, na akasema, It is because of Saul and his bloodthirsty house. Ni kwa sababu ya mfalme Sauli na kiuchao cha damu. Because he killed the Gibeonites. Maana aliwaua wa Gibeoni. So the king called the Gibeonites and spoke to them. Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel. But of the remnant of the Amorites. The children of Israel had sworn protection to them. But Saul had sought to kill them in his zeal for the children of Israel and Judah. Blessed be the word of the Lord. As the scripture says that all that is written in the Bible is written there to help us to learn. So today we want to learn from the story that is recorded in the word of God in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 21 from verse 1 as we have read. 
The Bible says that there was a famine in the days of David and that famine lasted for three years. Bila inasema kwamba kulikuwa na kiangazi katika ufalme wa Israeli na kiliendelea kwa miaka mitatu. So the first year it was famine. Mwaka wa kwanza kiangazi. The second year it went a level higher. Mwaka wa pili kikapanda juu kiwango. And then, then, then the third year it was still there. Mwaka wa tatu kiangazi kilikuwa kingali. You and me know that when there is a famine in the land. Wewe nami tunajua panapokuwa na kiangazi then it is not a time for rejoicing it is not a time for joy and comfort si wakati wa furaha ama kuchangamka it is a time of trouble ni wakati wa mangangano because with famine comes hunger kwa sababu uh, kiangazi kinakuja na njaa it causes scarcity of water inafanya uchache wa maji and it also it comes with a, a great devastation to the environment kiangazi kinaleta shida nyingi katika ma, ma, mazingara and all this causes great comfort to the living to, to human beings and animals na hii inakuwa ni shida kubwa kwa wanadamu na wanyama and famine was not just in the days of king david alone na kiangazi hakiku kwa siku za daudi peke yake even in our lives today hata maishani we can testify that at one point or another there was a kind of a famine that we went through possibly we are speaking to somebody today that in your life today there is a kind of famine that you are going through it could have lasted for long perhaps one year two or three years or even more than the, the, the years that we have described here. And you are wondering until when will this famine be with me? Famine represents trouble. And you could be going through a certain kind of trouble. Or perhaps even your family could be passing through a, 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 a huge challenge. And, and you have tried all kinds of solutions but, but in vain but today we want to speak to you about a God who is all knowing this God has a, a, an answer to every question yes we have, we have seen and we have heard and perhaps related with people who are learned people who are knowledgeable in many 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 fields but, but a time comes that even the most wise or the most learned of people they either get a problem or a problem is presented to them whose solution they do not have perhaps the problem that you are going through has taken you to different places seeking for help and it is not a bad thing to seek help but as Christians and believers our first source of help should be the God most high possibly in the case of David uh, as a human being he might have tried or waited for a solution to come perhaps he might have consulted the wise men of his, his times in, in the first year the second year but he got no solution and came the third year he told himself that where this thing has, has reached I, I have tried all I, I knew what to do and I haven't gotten a solution yet why don't I go to God today we live in a world 
Bernie is so full of many questions. And there are questions without answers. Just like the circumstances that David and the Israelites found themselves in during that famine. So many mysterious things happen to us. Or even to our loved ones. Sir. Our friends. Sir. Or people that we know. And, and even at times we are baffled because we do not have a solution or an answer to their problems. Sir. On the other hand. There are people who can hardly achieve success in life or can hardly get good, achieve good things in life however much they try and they have been asking themselves questions there, as we have said our world is full of questions and the, most questions are uh, beyond human comprehension na maswali mengi yanazidi kuelewa kwa wanadamu but there is a god in heaven lakini kuna mungu mbinguni this god we were taught in school huyu mungu tuliyefunzwa shuleni that is omniscient god ya kwamba anajua mambo yote he is an all knowing god ya kwamba maarifa yote yako nayo we can go to him and ask him tunaweza kumwendea na tumuulize and he can truly give us a password na kweli atatupatia funguo ya siri so that we can get access to the solutions that we need ili it is recorded in the scriptures sir, that more than nine times sir, King David having had uh, different circumstances of problems uh, for the nine times that we are talking about uh, King David went to God in prayer the Bible says that in, he inquired of the Lord and every time he did so he got an answer he did not get an answer because he was a king he did not get an answer because he was living in the times of the New Testament. But he got an answer because he was ready to humble himself enough and to go and ask God. God desires that his children ask him questions and he is ready and he is always willing to answer when we ask actually what God expects of us is to, that we can and relate with him as an innocent young boy relates with his father a young boy who has a good relationship with the father cannot hesitate or fear to ask his father even questions which might seem foolish to an, a, a, a mature person there, there is no question that, that before God is, is, is foolish. Even if it is foolish before men, God is your father. He understands you. And he has no problem with you asking him, him a question. Even as you seek for an answer. Another thing that we need to know that God is not happy hafurahi. when we go Tunapoenda. seeking for answers to life's questions jawabu kimaisha. from every Tom, Dick, Harry and Otieno Kutoka kila pembe. except from God Ila kutoka kwa Mungu. God is ready and he desires Mungu wako tayari na natamani. that even the toughest questions that we have in our lives gani. we can go to him uh, and ask him uh, there is a man 
that is called King Saul who made a mistake and the Bible says as we have read that the famine that the Israel was, was going through for three years that caused great harm in the land he, it had a cause the cause could be, tra be, be, be traced back to King Saul. As, as God answered David and told him that the famine that was in the land was because of the bloody house of Saul because he had killed the, 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 the Gibeonites in our times we, we live in times when people have very little regard for, for covenants the reason there was a famine in the land in the times of David as we have said is because King Saul killed the Gibeonites yet in the times of Joshua the servant of the Lord the Gibeonites made a treaty with the Israelites so, so that they could be protected and not be killed or, or done any harm by the Israelites. King, De King Saul did not know this. And the Bible says that in his zeal for the children of Israel and the house of Judah he killed some Gibeonites. As I've said today, just as, as, as uh, King Saul did, he, he broke an oath, he broke a covenant that was put in place by Joshua. And that uh, that caused a famine in the land it, 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 it had a consequence in the land of Israel many many years later child of God God is a covenant keeping God. God keeps covenants whether they are covenants that are, are made with the kingdom of darkness God will honor them. Even the covenants that are made with God himself human beings can forget but God does not forget. We live in days and times that so many people have, have very little regard for covenants and oaths. You can see even our leaders when they are elected they hold a Bible and they swear and they say words that they, they, will, they swear that they will protect the nation and, and sometimes even when people go to the courts they are given a Bible to take an oath and, and they say as they swear that whatever they are standing there to say is, is, not, is nothing but the truth under oath and then they go ahead and instead of saying the truth they begin to tell a lie even in the courts and the author thinking they can go away with it sometimes doing such things may not have a consequence immediate to, to the, the immediate offender but later in life you find out that there are, there are people who suffer because those who came before them broke certain covenants. This is what happened in this case of King David and the Israelites. 
Sauli wa Israeli. It is something that you can be replicated even today. Na ni kitu ambacho kinaweza kujirudia hata leo. That even when the people of God kwamba hata wakati wa watu wa Mungu decide to break a covenant with God. Wanapoamua kuvunja agano lao na Mungu. Certain things begin to happen. Mambo fulani huanza kutendeka. People may begin to suffer in the families. Watu huanza kutendeka katika jamii without necessarily knowing bila kujua the reason why sababu it happened then in the days of david ilitendeka wakati wa daudi and it can happen now inaweza tendeka hata sasa what are we saying with all these nasema nini kwa haya yote sometimes in in in, in life wakati mwingine kimaisha the challenges that have no solution sir changamoto ambazo hazina suluhisho the, the diseases the sicknesses which have which cannot be diagnosed by doctors sir magonjwa ambayo hayawezi kutambulika na daktari even the best doctors in the world some of the time nyakati kwa nyakati the, 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 the reason why things happen the way they happen sababu ya matende ya kutendeka vile kunavyotendeka is because ni kwa sababu of broken covenants ni kwa sababu ya agano zilizovunjika god works through covenants mungu anafanya kazi kupitia maagano and ma when agano. we break the covenants apovunja agano yes he loves us ndio anatupenda but lakini he will come atakuja to make sure kuhakikisha that that, that uh, the, the consequences that happen ya kwamba uh, kilichotendeka when covenants are broken wakati maagano yanapovunjika will happen kitatendeka unless ila so there is repentance kuwe na toba i want to read the book of joshua chapter 9 verse 14 joshua 9:14 nataka kusoma the bible says biblia yasema that the israelites sampled their provisions but did not inquire of the lord then joshua made a treaty of peace with them to let them live and the leaders of the assembly ratified it by oath verse 16 says that three days after they made the treaty with the gibeonites the israelites heard that they were neighbors living near them So the Israelites set out and on the third day they came to their cities Gibeon, Kefira, Beroth and Kiriath Jerim but the Israelites did not attack them because the leaders of the assembly had sworn an oath to them by the Lord the God of Israel that that is the, the, what, what I'm reading kile ninachosoma is just a backup ni kuweza tu ku, uh, kuunganisha o, of the kind of covenant that Joshua did ama kuweka zaidi maana ya kile ambacho agano ambalo Joshua alifanya as, as, as we have already said kama vile ambavyo tumesema King Saul did not know about this covenant Falme Sauli hakujua habari ya agano hili and he broke it na akavunja yule agano and after he broke it baada ya kulivunja there are consequences kulikuwa na matokeo could it be possible je inawezekana that there are things that are happening in certain families kwamba kuna mambo ya tendeka katika jamii fulani ama katika mataifa fulani because of, of broken covenants kwa sababu ya maagano yaliyovunjika we have said it here tumesema hapa and when we are repeating it today narudia tena that when people break their covenant with god kwamba watu wanapovunja maagano yao na mungu there will be consequences kutakuwa na matokeo so as i was saying kama nilivyosema is it possible je inawezekana that that challenge that challenge you are going through ya kwamba changamoto unalopitia could be having it is is a root from the broken covenant inaweza kuwa na mizizi yake kutokana na maagano yaliyovunjika you can ask god unaweza kumuomba mungu in deuteronomy 29:29 katika um, uh, 29:29 deuteronomy katika kitabu cha mambo um, Mbukumbu la Torati 29:29 hadi 29:29 The Bible says Biblia inasema that the secret things belong to God. Yakabukomba mambo ya siri ni ya Mungu. But the things that are revealed lakini mambo yaliyofunuliwa belong to us and to our children forever. Hiyo ni kwetu na watoto wetu milele na milele. That we may follow all the words of this law. Ili kwamba tukafuate maneno yote ya sheria. There are so many secrets in the world. Kuna siri nyingi duniani. The people who succeed succeed because they seek of a secret that they know. Watu nao wafaulu wanafaulu kwa sababu ya siri ambazo wanajua the, the people who fail in certain areas uh, watu ambao wanakosea katika maeneo fulani may be failing because of a secret that they either know but they are not using or they don't know at all huenda wanakosea kwa sababu ya kutojua ama labda wanajua na wanaamua tu kuvunja zile 
uh, siri. So being that secret things belong to our God. Kwa hivyo mambo ya siri ni ya Mungu wetu. Why can't we just go to God and ask him a question? Bona tusiende kwa Mungu na tuulize swali. Sometimes we don't even know. Mara kwa mara hatujui. The reason why we are suffering. Sababu ya mateso yetu. But when we ask this God. Na tunapoomba kwa Mungu huyu. He is very well able. Yeye ana uwezo. To give us an answer. Wa kutupatia jawabu. The book of Psalm 25 verse 14. Zaburi 25:14. The Bible says that the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. Biblia inasema kwamba siri za Mungu zina wale wanaomcha. And he will show them his covenant. Na atazidhihirisha kupitia agano lake. God knows. Mungu anajua. The very cause of your problem. Sababu ya shida zako. He knows the root. Anajua mzizi. And as we have said. Kama tulivyosema. That the secret belongs to God. Na kwamba siri ni za Mungu. And this secret which belongs to God. Na hizi siri za Mungu. He gives them to those who fear him. Huwapatia wanaomcha. If you have been seeking for a solution. Kama umekuwa ukitafuta suluhu. Perhaps you have looked at your family. Uenda umeangalia katika familia yako. And, and there are mysterious happenings. Na kuna mambo ya kiajabu inayotendeka. And you are wondering why don't you go to God? Because the secret things belongs to him. In the book of Daniel 22, Daniel 2 verse 22, the Bible says that the, our God reveals deep and hidden things. Anafunua mambo yaliyo sirini na makuu. He knows what lies in darkness. Na anajua kilicho gizani. And light dwells with him. Na mwangaza unakuwa na yeye. So if there are things that are to you to you a mystery. Kama kuna mambo yaliyo siri kwako. You don't know them. Au yajui. You can go to God. Unaweza kumwenea Mungu. The Bible says. Biblia yasema. That even darkness. Hata giza. With him is like light. That even when you go to hide in hell, the presence of God is right there. The, there is nothing that God does not know. People are suffering today Be, with, with their problems, sir, which do not have a solution because they are not willing to go to God. And and ask him Father God Baba Mungu, what is happening and what am I supposed to do people are so fond of, of running for help to other human beings whose, whose knowledge is so limited but want the people of, with the people of God not ask God for the solutions that we need to the challenges that we have in life. And as, as we wind up, uh, the present team joins us here. We want to have a time of just asking God that he may reveal to us uh, the questions in life that we have. Uh, may God give us a solution. He is a God who is able. He is an all-knowing God. There is what, uh, 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 as I wind up, I want to give us a, a, a short story. A true story. There is a man who was a prayerful man. And things were happening to na, their family. Na mambo kitendekea familia yao. The, the, the people who are educated Watu na elimu, would get drunk walevi, to the point that they did not even know themselves. Kwamba hayo, tena. And when people get married, na, na watu oa, the, 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 their marriage would break because, uh, because of drunkenness. Uh. And he was asking himself, why is things happening this way? And there's a time he went to God in prayer and he prayed. He took around three days asking God in prayer just asking God, oh God, I've been serving you so faithfully. Why? 
is it that in our family? Bona katika familia yetu. Things are happening the way they are happening. Mambo yanatendeka jinsi ambavyo yanatendeka. And then on, on the third day also. Na siku ya tatu pia. He, he God spoke to him. Mungu akamuongelesha. In a dream. Katika ndoto. And he said. Akamwambia. That in his dream. Katika ndoto yake. He saw himself. Alijiona. In his grandmother's house. Akiwa nyumbani mwa nyanya yake. And he was it, 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 it was like there was a speaker that was speaking so loudly in his ears. Na ni kama kulikuwa na chombo cha kupasa sauti kilichokuwa kinaongea na masikio yake. Out of that speaker. Na kutoka na kile chombo cha kupasa sauti. Were coming words. Kulikuwa kunatoka maneno. Telling him. Yakimwambia. The things that were done in that house. Mambo ambayo yalitendeka katika nyumba ile. By the grandmother. Ya, ya, ya nyanya yao. The covenant that the mother the grandmother made with the kingdom of darkness. Na agano ambalo nyanya yao walikuwa wamefanya na ufalme wa giza. That was causing. Uli ndio ulisababisha. Things to happen in an evil way, manner the way they were happening. Mambo yatendeke vibaya vile alikuwa anatendeka. And the man said. Jamaa yule akasema that after getting that revelation baada ya kupata ule funuo he went to god in prayer akamwendea mungu kwa maombi he repented na akatubu and asked god akamuuliza mungu to have mercy on their family awe na rehema juu ya familia yao and to forgive them na wasamehe and he says na akasema that he did not take it did not take long kwamba haikuchukua muda mrefu and one of the men in the family who was married to the sister na mmoja wa jamaa katika familia aliyekuwa ameoa kule kwa ile familia who was a drunkard if the man had gone to school he was so wise but he would get drunk until he would fall on the on, on the mtaro after that prayer it did not take long that man gave up on drinking and he began to become a responsible man and a responsible husband in the family child of god you are only a revelation away that question that has been mind boggling to you you can have its answer god is ready and is willing to give you the password to reveal unto you the secret for why things are happening the way they are happening and once you have the secret the revealed knowledge you will be able to take the right step and have a solution to that challenge so they are getting a short chorus huh? then we are going to pray with you that God will reveal himself to you and give you knowledge give you the secrets as he has said that secret thing belongs to him and those who fear God he grants them access to the secrets hallelujah
we thank you today our father tunashukuru mbele zako baba yetu your word says that you reveal deep and hidden things neno lako linasema kwamba unafunua mambo makubwa yenye kina that you know what lies in darkness na kwamba unajua yaliyo kizani and that light dwells with you na yale yako pamoja nawe and therefore today lord we pray for your people Bwana tunaombea watu wako who might be have been dwelling in darkness Jehovah God ambao huenda wamekuwa kiishi kwenye giza in lack of knowledge my father kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa maarifa as to what is troubling their lives kuhusu mambo yanayosumbua maisha yao but lord today we pray lakini bwana leo tuaomba that you may give a solution to your people kwamba utapivu tupatie suluhu kwa watu wako because we know kwa sababu tunajua that when you give us the secret Jehovah unapotupatia siri zile when you give us the password oh God unapotupatia lile then we will be able to access naweza uh, kuingia the an answer to our our, our need oh god na kuweza kuwa na jawabu ya maisha yetu so father it doesn't matter the kind of situation hali ambayo that your servant has been in tumishi wako anapitia that your daughter or your son has been in ambayo binti yako anapitia you are a solution giving god wewe ni mungu anayetoa suluhu father lord i pray today baba mungu naomba leo in your own unique way katika njia zako za ajabu may you give solutions jehovah god ukatoe suluhu may you give an answer to the questions Oh God of your people because only you is an all knowing God Father today glorify yourself by giving your people the secret to their life questions that there is going to be a solution Jehovah problems continue in life because of lack of revelation but Lord today we thank you because you are able to give us a revelation and out of that revelation we will get solutions oh God not only for our lives my father but you also cause us Jehovah God to be solution give us my father to the many people who have questions without answers this we pray as we believe and trust in the name of your dear son Jesus Amen. Amen. Amen Child of God wherever you are God is bringing a solution your way. Now we want to appreciate our online church. We value you so much. You are the reason why. We are here. So that we can continue to build the church of God. Even beyond the walls of the church. So we appreciate winning gache. We appreciate winning gache Samuel Ikiara, Kenya Ikiara, Katonda Lona, Musumulao, Felodi Hazard, David Rop, Isaac Andeche Senior, Rose Wanjiru, Charity Soni, Pastor Terry Karioki, George Otieno, Cleopas Kiyoko, Wangendo, Wangendo Kamau, and so so many others who are watching live we are not able to mention all of you na wengine wengi ambao muda tutazama hatuwezi kutaja wote kwa sababu ya muda but we are praying for you lakini tuwaombea that as you ask god the questions kwamba unapoomba mungu that he will give you an answer mungu atakupa maswali kwa majibu kwa maswali yako and that problem will be solved na kwamba hiyo shida itatatuka because he is a god who is more than able kwa sababu ni mungu anayeweza and as god gives you an answer to through your life's questions na mungu anapokupa jawabu kwa swali Will you partner with this same God? Uweze kushiriki na Mungu. Who is able to give you an answer that no doctor can give you? Ambaye anakupa suluhu ambayo daktari hawezi kukupa. An answer that no no counselor can give you. Jawabu jawabu ambao mshauri hawezi kukupa. Even the learned people are still seeking for answers from God. Hata wasomi wakubwa wanaendelea kutafuta majawabu kwa Mungu. It is worthy. It is a worthy thing to partner with God. 
kushirikiana na Mungu to reach to many other lives out there kufikia mioyo mingine mingi kule nje will you support the work of god wakati ambapo unapoashikilia kazi ya Mungu by paying your tithe today kulipa fungu lako la 10 or sending an offering kwa kutuma sadaka yako through our numbers today kupitia njia ambazo zimewakilishwa pale kwa simu yako do so natufanya hivyo we pray Tuwaomba. that god will bless you abundantly kwamba Mungu atakubariki kwa njia kuu and as we have said kama vile tumesema you will come back with a testimony utarejelea ukiwa na ushuhuda out of god uh, mungu. you are coming out with an answer utakuja ukiwa na jawabu an answer that, that will cause many people to, to, to wonder in amazement uh, of how you came to that solution god is able he answers prayers anajibu maombi and he is waiting for you instead of going to people go come watu, to this god instead of, of taking an offering to an evil altar badala ya kushindana na kuendea madhabahu ambayo ni yaigiza going to seek for solution from evil altars from a witch doctor kwenda kutafuta suluhisho kwa uh, kwa waganga bring that to church leta hapa kanisani where the presence of god is mahali ambapo uwepo wa mungu upo not so much so that god can answer you si mengi ambayo mungu hawezi kukujibu but because you know that in serving god ni kwa sababu unajua kumhurumia mungu there is no loss kwamba hakuna hasara and as you do so unapofanya May the blessings of God be upon you. Baraka za Mungu ziwe juu yako. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of our Father forever and ever. Amen. Kuna Mungu mbinguni ajibuye maombi.